Hello, Hello, everyone. Hello. Good morning, actually. Good evening, uh, Garam Kim, yeah. who is um, connecting and joining us from Seoul, South Korea, where it is uh, 7 p.m. Here we are 11 a.m. So, Garam, before we start our Q&A conversation, I would like just to give a brief introduction. I'm Emanuela Mazzonis. I've assisted Francesco Bonami in creating the Mi Family project. And um, today we are here for our third online uh, uh, interview. It is part of an online public program that has been launched by the MUDAM at the end of October. Uh, and today we are here with Garam Kim, who is a South Korean artist who works mostly in the field of installation, performance, digital art, and interactive projects. She investigates uh, most of the time the relationship that has been developed between social media and political, social, economical, and cultural issues in the South Korean society. She focuses her work on a more direct engagement, inviting the audience to activate her projects. And I'm thinking about three works of yours, Garam. The first one is Hashtag uh, uh, from 2016, where you have presented the exhibition space as a, a photo studio, we can say, furnished with makeup products and uh, bright lights, uh, a real setup for a for a selfie, we can say, where people were invited to take selfies in front of this uh, big light letters uh, um, cell star uh, that is actually an abbreviation of a compound word, uh, selfie and Instagram. That's right. Um, and the second work, which is actually related to this one is, uh, is uh, hashtag fantasy mm -hmm. from 2020. Um, this you have created for the Bangkok Biennial uh, last October, and um, is it, as I said, like a, we can say a second version of the uh, installation of Hashtag Celsar, and here you also added something else. You mm -hmm. created a YouTube virtual boyfriend uh, channel that... Um, I would say we can use it as a guide to find the right boyfriend. You mentioned the artist type, uh, yeah. the collector, the curator type, the ghost type. So yeah. you are actually um, through this, uh, we can even say ironic piece, uh, raising questions about how people form new relationship today in the age of YouTube, of social media. Yeah. You uh, also made a... Uh, a canvas piece, uh, different works um, related to this project, which are canvases with a QR code piece on it. And when you look at them, they all seem the same, but they are very different because if you um, actually uh, link the QR code, yeah. every code is linked to the YouTube video. Um, the last piece I'm thinking about is the uh, Agenda Air Salon uh, mm -hmm. from 2014 and yeah. still ongoing, if I'm not wrong, Yeah. Um, where you trained yourself as a hairstylist yeah. in order to develop a project that can provide a space for um, political conversations uh, that can be raised up through a one-to-one -one interaction. And this yeah. project took place in public spaces like mm -hmm. uh, uh, streets, parks, uh, yeah. storefronts. Uh, you did it in Dusseldorf, Germany, as well as uh, Korea. Mm -hmm. And uh, you always um, choose topics that headlined local news and develop statements that um, exemplifies also the range of public opinion. I'm also thinking about the topics you raise up in Dusseldorf, the refugee crisis, the uh, press freedom. So yeah. the aim was that during this interactive haircut, you um, could discuss different topics with the participants. Yeah. And uh, you also have been inspired by um, recent at the time haircutting protests in Korea 
where activists shaved their heads to uh, underline their uh, civil dissent. So you have considered how an haircut might represent an op um, a political opinion when it is less directly linked to activism, but more representative of personal viewpoints. Yeah. So now here I come with my first question and I will ask you, Garam, if you can tell us more about these interactive projects and um, how much important is for you the physical relation between the audience and the artworks yeah. And also what kind of relationship do you think there is between a work of art exhibited in a museum and the dissemination of art via the internet? Okay, so uh, let me start about um, the interactions between the audience and my artworks. So the physical relationship is very important to me because my project has allowed people to have their own viewpoint or speak to I mean their own opinion um, to the theme what I provided for the for the projects and uh, rather than I just provide my own opinion or um, just deliver my insist I hope to find I mean I hope to find some kind of discussion places. Um, the reason why I want to create this kind of space is that I thought we do not have enough those kind of spaces. I mean, for the public opinions or to discuss on social issues. And some people are really afraid that, I mean, to start to talk about it. So, um, I, I, I think we can learn from each other during those kind of physical relationship. And once the most important thing is um, once people realize that they have a new memorable experience, especially in the art place, oh, they want to share about it. So mm -hmm. that's the key point. So can you imagine if you visit my house salon project in a gallery and if you've got a new haircut um, during the performance, you have a discussion with me about the social or polit political issues. And then after then, when you go back home or when you go to the office, the people around you I'll just ask you, oh, you've got a new hairstyle and you will start, oh, I visited a special hair salon in a gallery or in a museum. And we were discussing about these kind of topics. So that's the moment the, the current discussion, I mean, current issues will be started outside. So I thought art, is very important for us in our lives because it gives a chance to change our viewpoint or sometimes a way of thinking. So I think those small starting points will be changed, will be changed in our society. So that is my first answer about your first question. Yeah. Thank you. And I think it's um, very clear and very precise because yeah. uh, you are underlining how much important is mm. the message uh, we can all give and receive from art, from artists, from the art world, from the art institutions. Yeah. Um, actually, what do you think uh, is the value of the relationship between in an art piece exhibited in a museum, in an institutional environment, a gallery, a museum, an art space, and the, uh, the dissemination of art, the divulgation of art through the internet. Yeah. So um, let me start with this a bit strange uh, story. Um, I've been believed that 
the museum is like a time machine <laughs> since I was young, because we can face, we can meet the past, past and the present and the future as well with, with the artworks. And um, actually I'm taking a part of the present sections in that timeline and um, I thought the art and artworks uh, have been reflecting on the present, I mean, and mm -hmm. with any new technologies and uh, with as a media. And all the time I'm observing the present and I'm observing the moment, what happens here and what's going on at the moment. And mm -hmm. I found the topics here as well as I found the technology or the medium or the tools in here, in the present. So using the internet or SNS for me is as a tool. So I do not want to divide it into two different sections because nowadays we are living in the boundary between the reality and the cyber spaces. So I, I think in my opinion, we do not need to, we do not have to divide it in two sections because it's the new generation, I think, with the new technologies. Right. And this is, your answer is actually linked to my other question that is mm -hmm. about the uh, evolution of internet, the technological innovation, the <clears throat> immense uh, production of devices of all kinds uh, that we are all using in our daily life, iPads, iPhone, uh, watches, <clears throat> vocal uh, assistants. And um, as you just said, um, you artists are using these tools um, to analyze also the impact um, that this artificial transformation have had on our daily lives and in, in the art life. So um, what kind of impact do you think the digitalization of our world have in the art world? And you are actually an example of an artist who is really using these tools and the social media with an, with an art um, goal in mind. Yeah. So, um, yes, what is your opinion about the meaning of art in relation to this uh, um, yeah. digital society, stereotype yeah. society? Okay. So, there are many, many technologies yeah. and uh, today, especially, I want to talk about the SNS or um, YouTube, like um, mm -hmm. personal channels. Yes. So, yeah, since we've got the personal channels, online SNS, um, I think the relationship between artists or art organization and the audience has been changed because um, for a long time before, Normally, the audience, they were uh, just followers and just mm -hmm. following what, what the artist delivered and what the museum showed to them, and they just accept that. But nowadays, the relationship is totally different because they just started to make an image, images with their smartphones and images with their laptops, and in the hues image network systems, they had an important role. So, and more, more than they can, I mean, they could be a powerful influencer as well as in this cyber world. So I think the most biggest impact on our art world is the, the change in this relationship. Mm -hmm. So we need to think about it and we need to reorganize it, reorganize with each other because we can learn from each other and we can develop our relationship very healthily. So that's my answer for the first question. And, and then um, actually sometimes I feel very nervous or sometimes I feel very afraid of the new change whenever mm -hmm. I faced what I cannot understand from the new technologies. But 
uh, as I mentioned earlier, I thought the most important thing from art, I mean, the art can change, change the um, people's minds and the way of thinking. And that can change, I mean, the art can change the society and then art can change the world. So I think this is the most, most essential things in our artwork. So even though we have any new media, any new technologies, yeah, I think this, this role of art is the most important things. To give the chance to think about and give the chance to change their viewpoint. That's my answer. Thank you, and I completely agree with you. And I think in your work is very present this mm -hmm. concept of the importance of art um, as a way to change the world and to yeah. change the viewpoint of people. Um, what is interesting also in your uh, work is that you are trying to use uh, people minds and people voices and ideas in order to divulgate your art and I'm now referring to the work you are presenting in our platform where actually is true as you said before the relationship between art and audience is changed and through this platform we can really see how it changes because yeah. Um, the audience now can really participate in this platform, yeah. even if it's only virtual, you can enter, you can uh, be connected and be uh, in communication with other people who are connected at the same time. Yeah. So referring to your uh, work in our platform, uh, the title is Four Rows, the Moving Archive. Mm -hmm. You... Um, you decided in a way to uh, change environment from a, a physical installation, you completely moved to a digital one, to a uh, cyberspace. And uh, um, monthly, this piece, which is still ongoing, uh, it started in 2014, um, assumes a four person girl group called Four Roses and produce digital music based on comments um, from popular websites. So the group, the Four Rose, is composed by four automated uh, female voices. The music is written by yourself and the lyrics are a group of uh, phrases of yeah. um, uh, ideas extracted from Korean most popular online forums. <laughs> uh, beyond that, uh, what is very uh, interesting and I found very attractive is the fact that the songs uh, are then distributed via music streaming uh, uh, services outside and inside Korea and are available uh, on very popular uh, sites like iTunes, Melon Music. So you are actually going beyond any artistic boundaries. You are creating pop songs using uh, uh, ideas of the audience and you're using the internet to yeah. divulgate art. Yeah. So do you want to describe more in detail the project and the aim you want to reach? Okay. Um... I think it's time to stop listening to the love songs. I mean, it's kidding <laughs> because almost the music in the music website, we can find maybe 90%. Yeah. We can find only music, music love songs. Love. Yeah, about love. Yeah, I know it's important, but uh, we, we need to have another, we need to ha have another category. So um, anyway, um, the first step with this um, song project is about the approach. The approach is on the comments, on the mm -hmm. news articles. So um, actually in Korea, we have a portal site like Yahoo. Mm -hmm. um, over 80% of Korean people are using um, the portal sites and in there, people can also uh, read the news articles and there are comments and reply sections and people uh, reply the comments as much as they want. I mean, they can say anything 
actually they can say everything because because of the anonymity because mm -hmm. they believe they they can they can speak without their face so they can very truly say anything so i thought it's very interesting part especially in korea because um, unfortunately in korea we do not have so much those kind of discussion culture so we do not say we do not have opposite opinion to the face i mean to mm -hmm. the person so normally in the reality we do not have any kind of those bad stops but mm -hmm. Online world is totally different. They 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 do not need to worry about yeah about anything. So the the comments could be a most powerful uh, public opinion. So it it just started to have I mean powerful power. So mm -hmm. at least they can change with the comments. They can change the. Uh, main actors in the movies and mm -hmm. they can also change the law I mean because that impact to the um, the politicians because politicians want to get getting popular so they they change the law from that comments so I thought the comments culture is really powerful and I want to make a kind of archive with that comments because it's true stories with people nowadays. So at first I want to make a voice for the comments because that is there there was no sounds. People just leave the message. So I just used the text to speech program and the, the text just transformed to the sounds. And when it's finished, it it's like a song. I mean, I saw it's like a lyrics, like in the in the song. So um, many people just want to ask how to find the, I mean, music company for releasing. So the clue is um, the clue was in the movie, like the pop stars mu uh, movies. You can see the first moment the the singer were struggling to find the music company with the demo CD or demo tapes. So actually I did the same thing mm -hmm. <laughs> with my first album. I mean, with my first song. And luckily I found a good music company and they helped me to release every month. So it's been almost, I think seven years, mm -hmm. over seven years because since uh, 2014, it has been released. Thank you, Garam. You gave us a very precise explanation of the piece. And again, I think uh, is um, very much linked to our platform where people can, yeah. uh, uh, if they want, they can be visible through a filter. So still yeah. the anonymity is still there. You yeah. are still covered some way. Yeah. Yeah. But what we did is that also if you want and if you have the courage to um, take off this filter from yourself, you can leave a comment on a piece uh, that is in the platform. But there you have to take the responsibility to uh, be visible to everyone. Yeah. And I think this is very important. This is the also the message I think you are... Uh, trying to give us so um, that was very interesting um, I'm sorry we're almost running out of time so I think it's uh, unfortunately time to conclude our conversation and I would like uh, to underline again uh, how important is in uh, Garam Kim work the reaction, the interaction with people, uh, the comment and the opinion of the public. So um, I think in Garam uh, works and projects, some individuals may just simply appreciate a free haircut or a pop song without experiencing probably a process of 
self-interrogation about contemporary issue, but on the other hand, participate may actually probably pose and start to consider new perspectives or probably questioning uh, their own viewpoints on social, cultural, uh, political um, yeah. ideas and topics. So I think you are really stimulating our minds to go beyond the superficial cover uh, that is around things in order to reveal uh, bigger and deeper meanings. So. I can say that I would like to invite everyone who is watching and listening us to dive <laughs> in your works and trying to be uh, immersed in the new dimension you are actually creating. Um, and at this point, I can just wish to everyone to enjoy the experience and open their minds to new point of view. Yeah. So, Thank you very much, Garam, for your uh, fantastic explanation and uh, have a nice evening. Yeah, you too. Thank you for having me. It's so glad. Yeah, thank you, thank Garam. You so Goodbye, everyone. Thank have you. a good day. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks. <laughs>